Hi everyone, today I'm going to be adding Google AdMob ads to my Flutter app. Uh, so first head over to PubDev, it's the Flutter and Dart package manager. I'm going to use Google underscore mobile underscore ads, it's published by Google so it should be a good one to use. So I add that to my YAML file. I add the appropriate information to the Android manifest and info plist. This is just a test um, add mob app ID. I do the same for iOS. If you're doing this for your production app, you would just go set the app IDs and um, ads up in AdMob. So you need to import the package. Then you need to create your ad. Once again, not overly familiar with Flutter, so a bit of messing around here. So I'm going to check the platform that I'm on and assign the relevant red ad ID based on that. Just a bit of refactoring to make my code a bit tidier. So when it's loaded, any time after it's loaded, you can show the ad. I want to show mine when I've added a tracking item in my on-track app. That question mark means that if interstitial ad is null, then it won't call the show method.
which is ideal. I'm going to add some callbacks to dispose of my ad and um, load a new ad. So when it fails to show full screen content or the ad is closed, it will dispose of the ad and load a new one. That's my interstitial ad. Now I can start setting up a banner ad. And this is me loading my banner ad. Now I just need to put it into the view, into my container. So to do that, I create an ad container that contains the widget, the ad widget. Oh yeah, sorry, I also have to load it. All this code is on GitHub, by the way, so just go have a look when you're free. You can check out the code and run it. So now I'm running it. Now I've got this exception here, which is on main.dartline7, and I'm pretty sure it relates to this that I've missed out copying across earlier. So I run that. And I get a new error that we can't use context before and it states completed. Um, there's a different way to get the platform, so I'll change to using that, and hopefully that'll work.
Cool, so now our app loads, but we're still getting this issue. A valid SKA ad network identifier is missing. So you want to go see enable this, and it just basically involves copying and pasting this um, dictionary into um, the info plist. You can get it off the Google website. Run again, and we've got our test ads. So that's day 18 of my challenge. I'll see you guys tomorrow.